Hi everyone, today I want to talk about the difference between the frequency separation plugin and actions for frequency separation that you all have used before. I googled for a frequency separation action and downloaded the first one that came up in the search list. It is an action from FX Ray. I think a lot of people are using it. It was released a long time ago and I've downloaded it myself a few times before. I would say its effectiveness has been proven over time. Now, let's take a look at how it works with the 8-bit photographs. Here, I have an image with an 8-bit color depth. This means that every channel of red, green, and blue color can adopt one of 256 values. Let me copy this layer and apply the action. Here's the action for 8 bits. I select it and pick a radius. The look of the photo didn't change, but that's just at first glance. So, what's the purpose of frequency separation? It is used to change the depth and dimension of the photo while keeping the texture intact and vice versa. For now, I won't change anything. I will just merge the layers. And now, I will use the curves to see if the image has changed. Here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like after. Let's zoom in. One more time, before and after. As you can see, the details in this area have been lost. Let me add more contrast before and after. Now I will turn the curves off and will apply frequency separation one more time. Let's say now I want to use a different radius. I merge the layers right away and apply frequency separation. And then I merge the layers again. We can now compare the result with the previous iterations, or we can compare it to the original image. So over here, we did not just lose the details, but some banding appeared. After three rounds of frequency separation, we can see that not only the gradient has changed, but also the brightness of the face is now different. The difference is obvious now, even without the curves. Here's the before, and here's the after. As you can see, the texture goes away on the neck and the nose. One more time, before, after. Now, let's try the frequency separation plugin. I won't edit the image. I will just apply the plugin right away. I am going to group the three new layers together. We'll turn on the curves and we will compare the before and after. As you can see, there are no changes whatsoever. The only visible difference will be on the preview image because for previews, Photoshop merges layers at lower resolution. If I apply frequency separation and then merge the layers, the image won't lose quality. I can do it over and over again and not worry about the quality. Let me put the group back. I will try to explain why this happens. The gray layers that are created by frequency separation are added in the linear light blend mode. In the areas where they don't affect the image, their color is 128. In the areas with very bright and light details in the original photo, their color can be 255. And in the areas with small and dark details, it can go down to a zero. This means that the linear light blend mode can lighten up any color to make it white and darken any color to make it black. All the values from 128 to 255 are used to lighten up a color and the values from 0 to 128 are used to darken it. Which means that in fact, the layer is no longer an 8-bit like the original image, but a 7-bit. This is why in frequency separation, the last range of small details is cut off and fine textures can be lost. In order to solve this issue in my plugin, I gather all the fine textures that were cut off and transfer them onto a low-frequency layer. Since this is a lower grade layer, the details are barely visible. But after all the layers are merged back together, the bit depth of the image remains intact. As you can see, there's no difference. You can apply frequency separation as many times as you want without worrying about the quality loss. Of course, you can convert your image into the 16-bit depth and use another action. In this case, even the action will give you a decent result. But you should keep in mind that in this case, Photoshop's 16-bit mode actually saves images at 15 bits. And this layer will then become a 14-bit layer. If you apply frequency separation 64 times, there's a chance that you will be able to see the difference. Besides, a 16-bit mode requires much more computer memory.
So the plugin is not just an alternative to the action, but a more effective way to use frequency separation and to keep all the details and textures. You can download the frequency separation plugin at retouch4.me website. It is absolutely free. Good luck with your photography and see you soon.